Alright guys, I don't do good recordings. This is an audio bond amplifier. This is a 600 model. H, it's a 600 HQ model, high current. It's supposed to be. Um, doing a repair. I just want to show some basic issues with these amps. And these are supposed to be real high current. Um, some of the major flaws audio bonds are known for. I'll arrive right off the bat, I'll show you. Hopefully my camera gets it. Um, these are supposed to be soldered, double soldered, double sided boards. They come from the factory this way. You get one heavy solder just because it needs to connect on the back. Then you see no solder, no solder, no solder, sporadic, no solder. Again, no solder sporadically. There again, no solder, no solder, no solder, no solder. This goes on all the way around the amp. There's a whole other side over here that need that does the same thing all the way down the board. And you'll find that on the bottom side here. You got a transistors for the mock for the uh, power supply. You go on the back side of this, you're gonna find the same thing. Solder missing everywhere. And you'll see that this amp was just opened up. I did it, broke the factory seal on it. And you'll see there's solder splats inside here. That right there will eventually float around the board, touch something over here, explode, burn up, amp will be no good. This happens a lot with audio bond stuff. I just want to warn you guys. Now these here, you have uh, some high current connections. These are the high voltage connections you have preamp side here low wire little wires that's fine but they seem to want to connect high voltage and high current on these and these were removed just by my fingers that easily not even locked in and I guarantee you if I loaded this amp down you'd see little sparks in there that happens on both sides this one's a little stiffer but still I can remove it very easily this should not be removable this should be soldered directly in here you know, you have a high voltage rail. This should go directly to the board. There should not be these here. This tells me this is a quick repair. Now, if you look down here, there's a little spade plug here as well, bent up and pushed in on the board, stressing the board out. Let's see if I can get some better light down there at the bottom. It's another spade connector. Again, not shouldn't do that. Should not have that there. That tells me that audio bond gets these so much to replace them that they'll just go unplug, unplug, pull the board out, replace it, pop in a new one, send it back to the customer. That's a bad thing. You don't want that. Now you see common ground for the speaker outputs is a nice, healthy eight gauge wire, big chunky one. That's your ground. That's your common ground for uh, both channels on this one. And then you see, um, the wires here, they're only shit, 12 gauge or, le or weight less than that. That's your positive, that's your negative. I mean, that's your other positive, I'm sorry. And then it shares a big fat common one. So you do the math on that when it has to do positive, negative rail voltage pushing the speakers in and out. That's not exactly a good, good thing there. That's another issue, and another issue they have is bolting these directly to the board. There's no solder. They put them flat on there with some really crappy connections. These always have to be rebolted. I normally go over and resolder a bead all the way around them, just roughing them up. And then on the back side of your toroid coils, you got these crappy solder connections once again, not meeting the connection where they need to be. Then. You get these here. These are solder joints here that are bad. These are just last minute upgrades. Instead of taking the board out and repairing it, you have to make sure that, uh, or they make sure that they just do a quick job and just slap it on top. And they'll just they'll just do it right on top. They won't even care. And then again, you get these bad connections here. These are plugs again being smashed underneath the circuit boards for the meters. Very a lot of tension on them. All these plugs are weak points. See this? I can just shake this thing around from the factory. Not good. That'll go every every plug I see that I'm running across, except for these fixed ones. Down here, these ones are a little more snug. But then again, you'll run into that too. So, just wanted to show you some extreme weak points um, on these amplifiers. Okay.